and it's a pleasure to be here. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve these past several years as the taxpayer's watchdog. Whether it's the bright light that I've been shining on fraud, waste, and abuse, and we all know about the CTEC salary scandal in several Iowans that took your money and missed them and are now sitting in prison. Or as I talk with my uh, chief of staff, Bernardo Brandwer, as we travel the state, this is a county that we ought to watch our speed limit because this is a county that we investigate with the county sheriff, so we do watch it as we go around the state. But it's been a pleasure to be able to serve the taxpayers of Iowa, but the sad thing is our elected officials have not been listening. When it comes to Iowa's finances, we're in an absolute mess. And let me give you just a couple of numbers. Back in 2007, for every dollar of ongoing revenue stream that we had, Iowa was spending one dollar and one penny. So pretty close to balance, but a little over what we should be spending. In the 2010 budget that was adopted by the legislature and signed by the governor, we were spending for every dollar of revenue, one dollar and 14 cents. Now let me put that in terms that you can understand. It's like a family with a $50,000 income back in 2007, had to put $500 on their charge card in order to balance their budget. Not the best, but manageable. Go three years later, and in 2010, that same family with $50,000 is putting $7,000 a year on their charge card to balance their budget. It's a sad case where Iowa is, but we're gonna keep that loud voice for fiscal responsibility. This is a great time for Republicans to re be out there speaking about fiscal responsibility and I'll be leading the charge as your taxpayers watchdog. I'm up for re-election again in 2010 and remember my motto, in God we trust, everyone else we audit.